We're at the Mount Shasta Resort on the golf course. And one of the things that's cool about this course is it's environmentally sensitive. And with us is Sammy Sims, who is really interested in the ecology of what's happening here. You found a tree frog yesterday, right? Yes, a green tree frog. Uh, tell us a little bit about what's going on with that frog. I found him in some bushes over back over there where he was climbing on some leaves and that's all I know. What do you think he, where, where would he like to be the best? What's his favorite place? Um, I saw hundreds of toads and tree frogs over there where it starts. So I would get, so I'm guessing over there. And over there is what kind of a place? You said it's bushes? Yes, there's bushes. Okay. And you're about to have an ant crawl on your neck. <laughs> you <gotta get> <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is Sam. Thank you. This is absolutely perfect current for one little. <laughs> okay, Sammy Sims here, and we're by this really cool stream at the Mount Shasta Resort Golf Course. You were talking about some critters that are happy living here. Yes. They are called salamanders, newts. And some frogs? Yes. And what makes it possible for them to be happy here? Because they are water like lizard creatures and they skim roll on on the bottom of tough current rivers and streams. Okay. So this little stream has a pretty good current going, doesn't it? Yes, it does. The, the place where one would be hanging out is right about there. Why would they like that spot? Because they like smooth grounds and waters, but still strong currents. I didn't know that. It's a really interesting thing to learn, because now I'll watch for newts, minnows, and frogs. Right? Is that right? Yes. Yeah. How can you tell the difference between a minnow and a newt? A newt is a lizard. Okay. And a minnow is a fish. Okay. And newts have tails and legs. They're like a snake with legs. A snake with legs. All right. And they are longer. Mm -hmm. And they can and they are this long. Mm -hmm. At, at full size, except for giant salamanders in China that can grow up to be as tall as me. Wow, that's a giant, all right. What color are the ones you usually see? The one time I saw some, it was, I saw a blue one and a red one. So they are colorful creatures. They certainly are. I would not have expected that. Well, Sammy, let's go look for some. We'll see you later. Okay.